Um, whenever I finish this piece, people either want to hug me or kill me. So let's see what happens tonight. The name, of, the name of this piece is entitled Really. I never liked boys in grade school. You always dated girls in high school, but now you're gay. Really. This has nothing to do with your father thinking he was an actor. Played the role of the invisible man, so now your manhood is Casper, but now you're gay. Really. This has nothing to do with your scared single mother forcing you to respect her. So instead of love, all you really did was fear her, but now you're gay. This has nothing to do with you getting punked in school. Bullies got the upper hand, low self-esteem got the best of you, but now you're gay. Really. This has nothing to do with you wanting to belong in order to feel strong. So whatever grabs the most attention is where you choose to tag along, but now you're telling me you're gay. Really? Don't you think you should deal with that thing that happened back when you were 10? You know? That thing that you don't like to talk about. That continued to happen again. And I know your laundry list of bad relationships really didn't help out much. But don't you think the homosexuals who are born gay might take this as an insult? I mean, would James Baldwin not find no fault in you deciding on his lifestyle? I mean, orientation. I mean, would Alvin Ailey Jr. really find humor about you picking out his lifestyle? I mean, orientation. I mean, would Ma Rainey really find it funny about you giving a go to her lifestyle? I mean, orientation. I mean, would Bessie Smith welcome you out the closet about you giving a try? to her lifestyle, I mean orientation. You know, this reminds me of the movie Blade. You're not a real vampire, you are merely dead. <laughs> Feel society didn't bridge a gap with you, so that bridge you burned. Desperate to be different. Reality resisted. You're just trying to stand out. Okay, yes, you're living your life, but it's twisted. What about the homosexuals who are kicked out of their homes because they weren't born right? Cut off by their friends. Killed because they didn't pretend. Peer pressure turned suicide. Somewhere between pop culture and psychosis, you got caught all up in it. And look, man, we're always gonna remain boys as long as our roots stay planted. But, I'm sorry, man. I gotta do this. Um, excuse me. Uh, I I'm sorry, I, I really don't want to interrupt everyone while they're eating, but I have to ask this question. 
at what point did going gay become equivalent with going vegan? Shit. Is it something that you do or is it what you really are? Is going gay a newfound hobby or modern day medicine for mental scars? At what point does a heterosexual wake up and say, starting from today, I'm gay? If a white person told me that they were going to be black, I'd say, I'd like to see you try. <laughs> do your best, but due to melanin arrest, you're going to find yourself having one hell of a hard time. So why, when heteros jump fences, trespassing on orientations, I have as of yet to see flags waving from gays saying that they feel offended. If I were gay, and someone hetero I know opened up their mouths to say that starting from today, I'm gay. <laughs> I'd say, have you seek therapy? And why have you simplified my life to a multiple choice question or the flipping of a light switch? And then I'd say, being gay is what I am, not what I do. And it's wrong of you to make me the answer for traumatic mental abuse. So homosexuals, born gay, the next time someone hetero you know opens up their mouths to say that starting from today, I'm gay, I want you to tell them. Wow. So you really think that being me is that easy? Um, by a round of applause, how many people know what they're looking for in a mate? For those of you that didn't clap, I hope you're afraid of that before the end of the been down to some drinks, I hope you <laughs> Get an idea. <laughs> look around, look around. Uh, the name of this piece is entitled I Need a Woman. I need a woman. We'll talk. I need a Felicia Rashad woman. Oh. A raisin in the sun. Cooking me polpeta and cursing me out in Spanish. I need a Sanaa Lathan woman. Made of brown sugar. No disappearing at something new every day. I need a Diana Ross woman with mahogany vocal cords. Oscar-worthy talent with a diva-like demeanor. No need for the real McCoy. I'll settle for a close bootleg. Xerox of excellence, carbon copy of perfect. A brick dun, 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 house with a heartbeat. Thunder thighs and red pumps, stilettos worn by molasses. I need an oxymoron woman who makes absolutely no sense. Making plans on Monday just to cancel them by Tuesday. I need an elements woman with some fire on her tongue. Wind inside her walk, earth in her eyes so she can ground me. I need a now later woman so I can suck on from time to time. With blow pop breast and a lemon head behind, her scent exquisite elixir, black beauty product supporter, a smidge of Nubian heritage, a splash of Carol's daughter, down peace status rocking a hat, braids or Caesar, has the ability to make me laugh just as hard as I can make her. She plays the role of ICU and monitors my well-being. Nostalgia woman. Makes me want to suck my thumb in her presence. Talks to me in telekinesis and moves me with her verbiage. Starlets get starstruck when making her acquaintance. Tore the force into course when sprawled on all fours. Replacing Barnum and Bailey as the greatest show on earth.
calling me just to let me know where she's at type woman. She has her own life, so we're not underneath each other 24 seven type woman. Uh uh, you always pay for me. I got this this time type woman. Always holding me up, even when the chips are down type woman. Talking on the phone all day. About absolutely nothing, type woman. Whenever I'm weak, she's there for me, equal to GE. She brings good things to life, so as you see, I need she. Oh Lord, send me a soulmate I've known all my life, but I'm meeting just right now. Hey yo. Send me a mob woman to help balance me out. Her crazy to my cool, her cool to my crazy. Tips my scales from time to time just to keep it spicy. Send me a warrior woman. Every step she takes makes djembe beats. They salute her as in Zynga when they see her on the streets. That's my kind of woman. Peace. Yeah.